Too late in prep parties. Oh, Esperzo. Esperado? JC! Oh, what up? Lunch. Lunch, okay? Afraid. Atrevido? You know I should go out with JC? Eli, Eli thinks so, ask me. Sila, did you even look at these? Ah, uh, I got senioritis. My brain is just screaming, stop, I'm full. Wait, wait, where are you going? Did you even hear what I said about the DJ? First bell. We're gonna be late. No, we're not. What did you think you're doing? We weren't doing that, Mr. Megan. Hi, Mrs. Howard. Hey. Brianna, is that personal? No, ma'am. Mrs. Haggerty asked me to make copies for third period home ec. Is that one of her cake recipes? You know it is. You make me a copy. Cake. Mm -hmm. Please don't call my father, Mr. Macon. Mr. Macon, please, Mr. Macon. Call don't... their parents, Edna, and tell them to come in. Mrs. Howard, Step Mrs. into the Howard, office. Mrs. Quiet. Howard, please don't call my father. Please don't call him. Carla, 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 calm down. What's the matter, honey? What happened? He and Byron, and they, they caught us in the car. That would be the bell. Mr. McAllister. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay, It's okay. I'll see you at lunch, all right? If I don't get expelled, would you like a tardy? No, ma'am. I'm, I'm very sorry, Carla. Don't worry. Okay. Oh, hey, oh I'm the sorry, Mr. Oh, Manning. Brianna, have you got time to tutor a jock? Stats and probabilities? I'm sorry, but the prom's coming up, and I'm on the venue. Just, just I gotta a few find rounds. A... You know, uh, just getting ready for the chapter test. If Brandon flunks, I can't let him play. Brandon, will you? Team needs him. He needs you. You don't play fair. Thank you. Oh, and congratulations. I hear you're our new valedictorian. No, I'm just in the run, and I got to keep my grades up. Well, my money's on you. Thank you. Did you get a chance to read my piece on the power plant? I did indeed. I am? Don't care so much. Let the story speak for itself. You're reporting, not crusading. Oh, come on, Randall. That was good. That was front page good. Oh, little Lois Lane. Do not patronize me. I am not an intern anymore. What do you want, Howard? Better assignments, Randall. Eh. Sorry, the correct answer was an end of world hunger. Hey, Brianna. Oh. oh! Sorry. Hey. Mr. Manning said you pound some numbers in my head. Gotta warn you. Head's pretty thick. To be conscious that you are ignorant is a great step to knowledge. Uh, I, I, I didn't say that. I mean, I said it. It's just that, um, it, it was a quote. Uh, Benjamin Disraeli. British Prime Minister? Not now. Uh, it, it, um, in 1868. He's dead. I guess he would be. Yeah. I don't even know why we're talking about him. 
We're not. You are. <laughs> I'm busy most afternoons. I think Thursday is the only day I can really pound on your head. I got practice Thursday. What about after, say, 5 o'clock? I come by your house? That'd be okay? Thursday, 5 o'clock. Hey, Brianna. You want to tell me where you live? <sighs> right? Shannon and Eli, like this, and Brianna and Nanny over here. Where's best couple? Speaking of best couples, you hear about Myron and Carla? Busted in paradise. Yeah, I saw Mr. Macon haul him in. Bet they get suspended. Suspended for a little dashboard action? Mm. Carla's daddy is city council. He's gonna flip out. She is so grounded. Bet he won't let her go to prom. What's your prom getting? A band or a DJ? We've got zero dollars. If people don't start paying their dues, we're dancing to a boom box. DJ Ray costs six big ones. Our prom got Ray. So cross him off your wish list, lady, because we already booked him, right? Mm, we're not booking anybody until the committee votes. That boy is ours, plus Eli knows him. Don't you, Eli? Yeah, he's my twin brother. You know, we were just, we were separated at birth. Chill out. We can't afford him anyway. Well, we can't afford him either if you want the Skylight House. But, uh, if we put our dues together, I think we could have it all, y'all. One prom for blacks and whites? Yeah. When pigs fly. Come on, it would be cost effective. The DJ fees, the hall, decorations. Divide that by per person dues. It's two proms, like always. Raise ours the end. Don't make me do no division in my head. Yeah, please don't. Makes a breakout in hives. Shut up. What's this? It's my letter of resignation. Oh, no dice. You have a contract. A first year journalism student could do what I do here, Randall. The metro section won't miss me. You got another offer? I'm gonna freelance. Did I mention you have a contract? Then fire me. Give me calls. Sell me crack. Harass the box boy. Or take a personal leave. No, no, I don't need a personal leave. You need a lot of things, Des. But I can only give you this time to review, reflect, and revive. Go on, get out of here so I can start missing you. Prom meeting. Come if you want to vote. No proxies. We're going to vote on our theme, y'all. Adventure in Paradise or Evening in Paris. Here you go. Now come if you want to vote. No proxies, girl. Come on now. You got to put this prom together. Here you go. Sorry. Sorry about that. Prom meeting. Prom meeting. Come if you want to vote. No proxies. All right, everyone, let's get back to class. This isn't something I can discuss. I just don't understand. Carla wasn't suspended. I have all the facts. You don't. Kids are saying it's because Myron's black. Brianna. You know me better than that. They both broke the rules. And they're both being disciplined appropriately. Look, one size fits all is not how I do things here. Is that really fair? Well, we'll debate your theories on fairness another time. Look, this is really none of your business. Close the door, I've got work to do. Desert Island is romantic. Not if you read Lord of the Flies. Okay, well then what's your prom theme, white man? Oh yeah, that's right. Christmas in July, right? Winter Wonderland, and I'm not going. It's prom, you have to go. What for? I don't hang out with them, I hang out with you. Come on, prom. Oh, in blackface? Oh, come on. We go to class together. We eat lunch together. I mean, we come here. Why shouldn't we be together for prom? 
No, I mean, she's right. No, she's wrong. Prom is different. Why? Because there's always been two proms. That's why. And two water fountains. You know, one for you color folks and one for us white folks. Shut up, Eli. We could pull prom dues, y'all. We could have twice the money and half the work. So you think you can get the white prom to go with the black prom? What are you smoking? I'll tell you what, Shannon's right over there. Go ahead, make your play. Loser does bake sale. <laughs> Put your apron on and start mixing. Done. Let's have one prom. Don't worry, Shannon. We won't make fun of the way you white people dance. I promise. <laughs> Shut up. She did it. Looks like you're bacon. <laughs> A pack of jelly beans has 144 that are orange and 1,354 that are not. If one jelly bean is randomly selected, find the probability of getting an orange one. Need a hint? Need a break. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, yeah, why don't you just do these on your own and uh, we'll check them next time. You like doing this stuff, don't you? Just like problems that have answers, you know? You work out an equation, and it's right, or well, it's wrong. But you want to be a math teacher, huh? Don't bet too much. First woman president? <sighs> Marine biologist. You want to study the fish? And what about you? I haven't figured it out yet, but like your prime minister says, if I know I'm ignorant, I must be smart, right? Yeah. Sila hates when I do that. You read a lot, don't you? Yeah, I do. What's wrong with that? Calm down. Nothing's wrong with it. You just gotta mix it up a little. Do you party? Yeah. Don't look at me like that. Come on. Oh. Yeah. Yes. Uh, 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 I am not uh, dancing uh, with you. Uh, Stop. Uh, uh. <clears throat> Brandon, this is my aunt Marlene. Hello, Brandon. Please don't let me chase you out. Pleased to meet you, ma'am. I was just leaving. Uh -huh. See you later, Miss Einstein. Who's the pretty boy? Uh, that one's Brandon Williams. Mr. Manning asked me to tutor him. That is all. Has he got a girlfriend? One for every day of the week. Let me do that. So I need a Dawson at the market today. You know about Myron, don't you? She said he got suspended. Yeah. I bet not ever catch you in a park car. And with Bob Thornton's daughter. Those two don't have the sense between them. I asked Mrs. Stevens why Carla wasn't suspended, too. She said I didn't have all the facts. Facts don't matter when your daddy's on the city council. And it's none of your business. You keep your grades up and your head down. You want to be valedictorian, don't you? Then don't be mouthing off to your principal. Got a deadline. I don't mean to bother you. I can call back another time. No, no, it's fine. It's, uh, it's fine. How are you? How's Daddy? Is he there? Hold on. He's in the toilet. We're both fine. It's always a little hard this time of year. Russell's birthday is Sunday. I know, Mama. I know. We sure would like a visit from you. I don't know, Mama. I'm, I'm pretty busy. I understand. We just, well, we just, we just miss you, that's all. You know what? I'll visit soon, OK? What about this weekend? It would make such a difference having you here. I'll have your room ready just in case. You can decide at the last minute you don't even have to call. No, you know what? I'll be there. Um, Sunday. I'll see you in church.
because Shannon says yes doesn't make it official. I didn't say yes, Lily. I said we'd vote. That's why we're here, everybody. Now, if anybody else has anything to say. We've always had two proms. I don't see why that has to change just because Carla wants to get with Myron. <laughs> Shut up, Lily. This has nothing to do with Carla or Myron. Right. Prom is prom and jungle fever is jungle fever. So next time, keep your pants on, Missy. Shannon and I thought it would be cost effective to have one prom. <laughs> this was your idea, Brianna, not mine. Does Mrs. Stevens and Mr. Manning know about this? This is private parties funded by the students. Y'all, we do not need the school's permission. And if we vote no, you're gonna say we're racist, right? Nobody's calling anybody a racist. Not out loud, anyway. Why do we even have two proms? Ask her, Daddy. You wanna vote? Let's vote. You guys don't wanna have prom with us? That is fine with me. I got enough friends. Okay, all in favor of two proms? All in favor of one prom? If you think raising your hands like a lot of little first graders is gonna change anything, you're wrong. We're gonna have two proms like we always do. God sure is good, ain't he? We've got Mrs. Lytell here from the NAACP. I'd like y'all to give her your full attention. Praise Jesus. Amen. There's a Parent Teachers Association meeting coming up, and I want each and every one of you to attend to lend Sister Dawson our support. The recent suspension of a black student at the high school is a matter that concerns all our children. And the Mother's Committee is seeking an investigation into school policy. In addition, we will debate the issue of an integrated prom. Debate? What's there to debate? Anyone with something to contribute to the rummage sale be sure to get it here by Thursday. Thank you, Ms. Lytell. In Jesus' name, let the church say, Amen. You got something to do with integrated prom? It's not just me, the entire senior class voted. Didn't I tell you to keep your head down? Oh, it's okay. It's okay. It's all right. Desiree, I'm good to go. It's been a long time, Desiree. How are you? I'm good. How are you doing? I come by most days on my way home from school just to check on him. Happy birthday, baby. I made a chocolate cake, thought about bringing it here. But then, I don't know, it seemed a little crazy. <laughs> Russell and I 
used to eat chocolate bars late at night when he couldn't sleep. The pain was that bad. Well, he's not in pain now. Come on, Mom, don't cry, OK? OK. <laughs> Just give me a minute or two, OK? Desiree? Behind you. I thought I was seeing things. Hello, Mark. Huh. How are you? Um, I'm good. I hear you're uh, walking down New Orleans for the times. That's impressive. Yeah. Uh, how about you? I moved back when my mother got sick. I'm assistant principal of Mercy High now. I see your mother every day. I didn't know that. I guess you never ask about me. Yeah, uh, I don't much keep in touch with Mercy A. How's your mother? Uh, she passed. Over in the other cemetery. Oh, yeah, the white one. <sighs> wow, Mar I'm so sorry to hear that. It's OK, it's 10 years ago. Why'd you stay? It's home. I wasn't getting anywhere in D.C. It's easy to teach kids and his congressman. Uh, well, my mom's waiting for me, so I better get going. Wait, how long are you staying? Would you like to grab dinner and catch up? Mark, I'm, uh, I'm only in town for a couple of days, you know, just to see my parents. I'm real glad I ran into you. Yeah, nice seeing you, Des. Des. Oh, come on, Daddy, drive. Oh, are they talking? Go! Oh, my God. Oh, my God! Yeah, 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 it's fine. Everybody's all right. Ah! Heard that crash all the way around the block. What you doing out there in the middle of the road, James? Hey, car just plowed right into me. See who it was? Looked like one of them Dupree girls. I know John Dupree. I'll check into it. What kind of car was it? It was a gold car. I was asking the driver, honey. And she was going at least 50, and she didn't even stop. I need to see your license and registration. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, Daddy. He didn't do anything wrong. She's the one that ran a stop sign. You should be going after her. I said I know John Dupree, and I know his daughters. And I'll check into it. Meanwhile, why don't you get back in your car and let me finish up with your dad? I'm a witness, sir. This Ray. Daddy? Get in your car. Sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. I can't tutor you today. They're having a they're having a PTA meeting at school. Well, they're going to be discussing the prom. Maybe you want to come? <laughs> to a PTA meeting? Prom's just a party. Don't see why you want to make a feral case out of it. Isn't Myron a friend of yours? Sure. Well, the PTA's going to discuss him getting suspended. <laughs> Let him. Won't make a difference for him or anybody else. You think it's fair that he got suspended and Carla did it? Brianna, life isn't fair. Meetings aren't going to change that. Some people just like to to hear themselves talk. And some people like to sit on their butts and do nothing. Mercier isn't going to change. Not if everybody thinks like you. <laughs> Trust me, everybody does. Nobody wants to hear about Myron. They don't care that he got suspended. They just want to have a say in this prom thing. 
Yeah, but that's a mess too. Huh. Those kids have got too much time on their hands. Mm -hmm. Teachers need to give more homework. <laughs> Mama? What are you talking about? What's this prom thing? Oh, uh, Brianna McAllister. Okay. Brianna McAllister got the seniors together and they voted to have one prom for everybody. Hmm. Blacks and whites. And the school was okay with that? Well, they're private parties, Des, don't you remember? Schools never had a prom because of the insurance. Oh, yeah, the insurance, I do remember. So, who's this Brianna? Well, you saw her this morning in church, Marlene's niece. Little troublemaker. Yes, well, we wouldn't want to start trouble, would we? Better to just lie down and take it. It's getting late. I think it's time to get going. Coming, Jim? I'm not a teacher, and I don't have a kid at that school. I've done my time. You know what, Mama? Okay. You coming? Mm -hmm. Please, quiet down. Please, let Mrs. Dawson finish. All I'm saying is, two kids break the same rule, they both get the same consequences, never mind who they are. Whoa, you want to suspend Carla for accepting a ride to school? Bob, please. Are you implying that Myron forced himself on her? Because that's just a damn lie, and you all know right, it. the question is being addressed to Mrs. Stevens. We Will all you know that Bob Thornton's on down. city council. <laughs> What's that got to do with the price of eggs in China? All right, all right, Mrs. Stevens. Well, this is really just a, an unfortunate misunderstanding. Carla and Myron were both reprimanded for being in the parking lot after the first bell. Now, Myron was suspended because he pushed Mr. Macon when Mr. Macon was bringing him into the office. Why is this the first that I'm hearing of it? I apologize, Miss Dawson. I, I thought Mr. Manning had spoken with you. This is just a, a miscommunication that has snowballed, and, and I really regret it. All right, item six. The senior prom. There has been some talk about combining the black prom and the white prom. Phyllis. What is it, Bob? The prom has nothing to do with teachers or the school. Well, we're just opening up for discussion, that's all. Well, this is not a place for discussion. It's on the agenda, Miss Thornton. I suggest forming a parents' prom committee to look into the matter. It makes no sense to have two proms. We all listen to the same music. Both committees want the same DJ. This is a matter for the parents. We will deal with it as parents. The seniors voted on one prom. I second Miss Lytell's motion. We are graduating as one class. We are friends. Why spend twice as much money when all we right. can actually have... It's late. Anyone who's interested in forming a parents' prom committee outside of the PTA, please see Mrs. Lytell. I think we're done. Thank you all for coming out. We'll see you next meeting. They want to look into it. Let them look into the expense. I could give them exact figures on what they say. Hard gives me to Willie's. He's like old school clan. Yeah, he's just freaking out that his daughter has a sex life. He's a bigot from hell, and he doesn't even know it. No, he knows it. He just doesn't know that he knows it. Lots of black parents are against it, too. I don't know. It's going to ruin prom. We should just forget it. Kelly's right. We should just forget it. I mean, this is prom. You know, we're supposed to be having a good time. Let's talk hair. Oh, let's talk about shoes, or let's talk about you and Brandon Williams getting it on. Whoa, whoa, we're not in front of the boy, Seal, OK? No, he's a virgin. There is nothing going on between us, y'all. I am tutoring him. That is all. Eli and I saw you talking to him, didn't you? Well, was in the air. I mean, I heard bells. If he asked you to prom, you'd faint. And not before I said no. You are so full of it. He is apathetic. Uh-oh. Big words. She's using the big words. Uh -huh. She must really like him. Mm -hmm. Apathy is the glove into which evil slips his hand. Oh, la, 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 so la, 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 la. You know, I'm on my walk home, okay? Okay. You know, like to drive back? Oh, that's fine. Okay, well, that's good. Okay. Bye, baby. See you later. Okay. you for a second. Um, we saw each other in church. We didn't actually meet. I'm uh, Desiree Howard. Yes, I know you. Mrs. Howard's daughter. Yeah. Uh, I'm Brianna McAllister. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. It's not an original idea, you know. Most schools have one senior prom. Yeah. But, you know, this is Mercier, and we're not just talking about any prom. We're talking about an integrated prom. No one says integrated about our schools anymore. 
Just because someone doesn't say a word out loud doesn't mean they're not thinking it. Sure, nobody says segregated about the school either. Yeah, I went to school here too, and we called it black prom and white prom. And we didn't think about it as being segregated, but that's what it was. That's what you're fighting. It's not a fight. We're friends. We just want to have our parties together. It's, it's not that big a deal. Then, wow, the objections and the committees and... You used to live here, right? You know exactly how it is. You get a haircut, everybody got to say something about it. Girl, you look cute. Girl, what'd you do to your hair? Where'd you go to? Can I go? Your mom ain't gonna like that. It's just a small town, that's yeah, all. Yeah, that's true. I mean, there are small towns, and there are small towns. And then there's Mercier which is stuck in a time warp. I mean, I went to school here 14 years ago and it's the same now as it was then. Change your thoughts and you change your world. Norman Vincent Peale. That is impressive. Wow, okay, then tell me, what are your thoughts? My thoughts are, we are going to have one class prom, the whole class. It's gonna be the best prom in the history of Mercier High. And everybody, and I mean everybody, is going to be glad they came. You can find many organizations Hmm. Uh, why don't you go on up to bed? Yeah, I'm 55 years old. I get to pick my own bedtime now. <laughs> How long are you staying, Desiree? Why, Daddy? Sick of me already? Well, you don't visit in two years. Your mother's got to go visit you. You visit even at Christmas time, but now you're here. You're fired. It was a personal leave. That newspaper jargon for out of a job. I told my editor I wanted to quit because I wasn't getting the assignments I deserved. Uh, I don't want to hear that. Nothing is ever good enough for you. Not your family, not this town. Now your job. You're ungrateful. That is not true. I heard a word of complaint out of Russell, and he had a lot to complain about. Look at you. What are you saying, Daddy? That you wish I had sickle cell? You could get a job right here in Mercier. Mother would like to have you close. It's all still very hard on her. Do you realize that? Mama wants me where I can be happy and I cannot be a journalist here in Mercier. You don't look like you'd be a journalist in New Orleans either. Yeah, well, I'm trying. I can't be Russell, but I'm working real hard to be Desiree. to ask me if I seen this so fine as hell. What? Wipe this off off the chin, he ain't come. Thought you guys could use some muscle. You thought right. Wash your ass. Well, wash. Well, follow me, boy. Uh, you want to wax? No, I don't. 
Yes, you do. Red car. Thanks. I thought Cupid was a little guy with arrows. Hi. What's up? Got a C plus on my test. All you want. But you could have got a B if you wanted. Eh, C's good enough. If I do any better than that on stats, my old man have a stroke. <laughs> I didn't mean to start a fight with you. It wasn't a fight. It was a difference of opinion. You think two people can have different opinions and still be friends? Depends. On what? Some things are just too important to compromise. You know, they've been calling Myron's house every day. Threatening him. Telling him if he goes anywhere near Carla, he's a dead nigga. Are you serious? Yes. All this talk about blacks and whites being together for prom, it gets people thinking. It gets them mad. Is prom too important to compromise, Brown? <laughs> I'm just asking. I had this headache for four days. I wouldn't wonder. It's just them damn kids. Of course it is. And I told Myron, if I see him near that hoochie girl again, I will take the car keys. Mm-hmm. You're not the first boy she done took into the parking lot. That's for sure. That's for sure. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Speaking of hoochie, guess who just walked in? What's she doing with Mark Manning? Private high school reunion, maybe. Huh? Oh, yeah, you hear about that? Uh-uh. Hot and heavy. Big secret. Oh. They were never seen together in public, but yes, indeed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you for meeting me here. I'll never turn down lunch, Trudis. I want to talk about prom. Well, I would have taken you. You're the one who said no. Well, to the black prom or the white one. I mean, what if there had been an integrated prom back then? What if there was one now? Why do I suddenly feel like I need a lawyer? It's not a trick question, Mark. Is it an interview? No, I just want your opinion. As the assistant principal of Mercier, as an old friend, because you know the school has nothing to do with the prom. A state-funded school cannot sanction segregation. Segregation's a pretty strong word, don't you think? Well, how about separate but equal? You like that better? You're the writer. Uh-oh, uh, don't look. Your rep is ruined. We're being scrutinized by the town gossip. Don't stop it. Ugh, Marlene Armstrong never liked me. Oh, she's just jealous. Of me. I think all the girls were jealous of you. You're the prettiest girl in class. <sighs> Damn, Des. Mark, don't. Let me just say. Say what? Look, we were kids. Look, I talked to Rihanna McAllister, and I don't think she knows what she's doing. She could get really hurt, Mark. Don't underestimate Rihanna. It's not school business. I know, Jenny. We're all just concerned neighbors here. Faculty isn't doing anything to encourage these kids. And I appreciate that, Ron. On the other hand, what's being done to discourage them? They just want to party with their friends, that's all. We've been having two proms since for as long as I can remember. And when a tradition is older than me, well, there's got to be a good reason for it. Well, you're not against integrated schooling, are you, Bob? Against it? <laughs> Hell, I'm for it. We wouldn't be state champions without it. You know, if I can speak frankly, excuse me, but all this prom business, it started after the Dawson boy got suspended. It is obviously a rebellion. Kids want to do what they know they shouldn't do. That's why they're kids. Putting blacks and whites together on prom night? Why not just give the baby matches? I couldn't agree more. It's that Brianna McAllister. I mean, if you could just talk to her, Jenny. She's the one who started all this. <laughs> and Bob, you need to speak with Carla. Look, Carla's just acting out. Curiosity, that's all. You know, it's the kind of thing that can get out of control if we just let it be. I always tell my girls what my daddy always told me. Lie down with dogs. Get up with fleas. Excuse me. I need a drink. Kelly! I'll be right back. Hey, so 
I got the prom catalog. We need to pick out the glassware and the napkins. You want to do it during lunch? I can't during lunch. What about after school? Um, I can't work prom anymore. My mom says it's just too much for me what, with all my other activities. Ask Shannon. Kelly's gone over to the dark side. I'm in the light side. Don't you start talking about socks. Don't you see what's happening around here? Check it out. See, look. What? You want me to feel sorry for her? If Martin had any sense, he'd be done with that white girl. That white girl's name is Carla. No, ma'am. She's a white bitch. She got Myron Dawson suspended. Formerly known as Carla. Who's been saying that? Plenty of people, including yours truly. A thousand for the hotel? And that's just for the deposit. There's not gonna be anything left for drinks or decorations. Mercier Meeting Hall, looking good. Mercier Meeting Hall, kill me now. Yo, what you looking at? Yo, what you looking at? That ain't none of your business. I make it my business. Hey, take it easy. Well, tell your boy to back off. Oh, oh, no, no, let she's him not go. Working. I'm gonna see you. Hello. You're cooking? I've learned a few things since high school. Try and keep an open mind. Come on in. I thought we were just gonna go out for a drink. Well, I'm aware of how you like, hate the whole Mercier staring at the black girl with the white guy thing, so got the freeze on. Right. It does smell good. Stuffed crab. You got the recipe for my neighbor. Hmm. Would you like some more? Yes, thank you. Where'd you get that apron? You like it? It's <laughs> lovely. <laughs> Thank you. Cheers. Mercia is still a small-minded, passive-aggressive, racist little town. Mark, think about it. Who owns most of the real estate here? Who wields all of the power? There's one black employee down at the courthouse, and 90% of the inmates in the jailhouse are black. And yet, somehow, y'all are still real proud of your integrated little PTA. You're right. I'm sorry. I I did not mean to go off on you like that. That was awful. That's right. You know, dinner was lovely. You, you're a great cook. Thank you. You know, there are people trying to change things here. You could sign up. I'm just passing through, Mark. I don't have the patience. I never did. Prejudice is just fear. People are scared. Look at him. You're right. People here are scared. They're scared of you, and they're scared of me, and Myron, and Carla, and little coffee-colored babies in the preschools. Where are you going? I'm on a sleep, Mark. I don't, I don't know why I came here. Open the door. I'm not scared. That's great. 
Okay, um, yeah, it's, it's Mercier High School. And, uh, and no byline, okay? Yeah, the girl's name is Brianna McAllister. It's B R I A N N A, and uh, McAllister's two C's, two L's. Great. All right, you ready? Okay, um, in an effort to end 30 years of segregated proms, high school student Brianna McAllister is meeting. Listen up, your projects are due on Monday. No excuses. That means you, Eli. I am wounded. You are warned. Not at all. Hey, Miss Einstein. Hey. You gonna be at Lee's on Friday night? Uh, I don't know. Be there. Okay. Brianna McAllister, please come to the principal's office. Close the door, please. Sit down, Brianna. Why didn't you talk to me first? Talk to you about what? Apparently, it's in all the papers. Mrs. Stevens, I, I don't know anything about that. I, I, I swear. At a PTA meeting, Ms. McAllister protested the segregated proms. We're all friends, the senior said. We just want to party together. What's wrong with that? Assistant Principal Manning refuses to comment on the racism in Mercier. I didn't call the newspapers. Honest, I didn't do it. This article implies that our school sanctions segregation. Do you realize that you put us all in a potentially dangerous position? Promise me that you won't talk to any more reporters. I did. A television camera crew is on the way over here. Call the sheriff. Make sure they stay off school property. I think it's best if you go home for the rest of the day. Mercier High, can you please hold? Mercier High, can you put? Uh, please hold. Thank you. Mercier High, can you please hold? Just hold, please. Please hold. Hello, can I help you? The prom is not a school-sponsored event. They're private parties. The school can't afford a prom. I I'm sorry, the school has no comment. No comment. No comment. No comment. Hey, Brianna! Wait. Wait a second. You lied to me. No, I did not lie. You wrote that story, didn't you? Yes, I did. And you asked me questions and pretended like we were friends so that you could have a story. You don't call that a lie? Why'd you give it to the Associated Press? Afraid to put your name on it? No, I should have just told her it was coming out before it did, that's all. That's all. You used her, Des. I helped her, Mark. I gave her a voice. You're the one that told me to sign up. That's how you sign up? By publicly shaming this town? This town should be shamed. Publicly, privately, in any other way I can think of. Well, mission accomplished. You can go back to New Orleans. I bet you get some real juicy assignments out of this. Sending Brianna McAllister home, was that really necessary, Jenny? I couldn't have her here with all the television cameras. Well, you can't keep her out of school. I know, I know. I thought you were in favor of one prom. I'm not in favor of being called a, a passive-aggressive white racist just because this town has a tradition of two separate proms. Segregated, not separate. Why does everyone keep using that word? Mr. Thornton's here. Who's mining the store, Jenny? How this little girl gets so much press? We don't know. You think the NAACP's behind this? I don't believe so. Well, you and I have to do some damage control before they jump on the bandwagon. Well, it's an easy fix, Bob. Beg your pardon, Mark? Well, you just have Jenny announce that there's gonna be one prom, black and white kids together, and then there's nothing to write about. 
Are you being smart with me, or are you just dumb as a post? I'm just being practical. Jenny. Mark. Prom is going to be like it's always been for one reason and one reason only. That's the way the students want it. We have to make that very clear. Now, this McAllister girl, it says in the paper she's a vile Victorian. She's in the running, yeah. Does she want to stay in the running? I hope you're not suggesting that I use that as a threat. Oh, no. I'm going to tell you how to do your job, Jenny. You're doing a fine job. Now, a lot of folks on the board didn't think we should have a woman principal, but me, I stuck out my neck. I said she has brass ones. Please don't make me out to be a big fat liar. She doesn't want to talk to you. I didn't do it to hurt her. Marlene, please. You said you died before you set foot in this town again. But here you are, come to teach us a lesson. You may not like how I did it, but you know it needed doing. Brianna did what needed doing. You just wrote it up. All right. Fair enough. You think you're the only person in this town that wanted more? Thank you. So? You're just going to give up now? You know that saying, the tip of the iceberg? That's your prom. No, it wasn't an iceberg until you made it one. Honey, it was an iceberg, and you would have hit it sooner or later, and I only made it sooner. <sighs> now, what are you going to do? Nothing. It's over. It's far from over. It's your game now. You and your church ladies and your reporters and the city council and anybody else who wants to use us to make a point. Well, this isn't what I wanted. You started something, Brianna. Now you gotta see it through. Why? So you can have more to write about? Come on. You're not fair. Neither are you. Now, I wish you'd leave. You know, when I look at you, I wonder what I might have done when I was your age. If I'd had your imagination and your courage, but I didn't. And I just ran away. Made you a sandwich? No, I'm not hungry. Now, come on, eat something, sweetie. Trouble doesn't like an empty stomach. You told me to keep my head down. That's right, I did, didn't I? <laughs> I should have listened to you. <laughs> I should have listened to you. Oh, come here. Shh, it's OK. <sighs> you know about Ernest Armstrong? All that reading, and you don't know about your own relations. <laughs> Let's see, Ernest. Third cousin on my mother's side. Now, Ernest was the first black man in Louisiana to cast his ballot in a national election. He was the first black man to vote? Mm-hmm. <laughs> of course, his vote wasn't counted. Of course. And they lynched him. But the point is, he went first. Now, somebody's got to go first. Like you. What? Are you saying I'm going to be lynched? No, girl, no. <laughs> what I'm trying to say is, I'm proud to be related to you, Brianna. Now, it was wrong for me to tell you to keep your head down. You keep your head up. You know what you're doing. OK? OK. <laughs> You told me to take some personal time. 
This was personal. Point taken. Personal leave is over. You work for me, you do not file with Associated Press. Unless you want me to send Fat Boy down there to break your kneecaps. How's Mom? How's Dad? How's the dog? That's good. When's prom? It's May 18th. Stay in cover it. Pre-prom, prom, racist rednecks, kids, parents. Maybe somebody will burn down a school if we're lucky. You there? Yeah, yeah, I'm here. You want it off the metro section? This is it. Congratulations. You're front pager. Hello? You do want this, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, I want it. I'm sending a photographer. Hugs and kisses. We're your Secret Service bodyguards. Oh, I need bodyguards? Mm -hmm. You famous. You like a rap star. You ever seen a rap star without a bodyguard? Uh-uh. I am a human shield. You're not a human anything. Well, we got your back, Bree. We got your back. Brianna, can I have my prom dues back? What world are you in? No refund. Carla, you're not coming to prom? My dad says there's not going to be a prom. Just a white prom. <laughs> and I'm not going to that. Oh, so you're going to have a private party at No Tail Motel? Sila, stop it. Ask white prom for your dues, OK? Shannon said Brianna was holding the dues. And we spent it. You couldn't have spent all that money. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You saying she stole your money? Ho? <laughs> what did you call me? Oh, we got a Stop it. Stop it, white ho. Stop it, Carla. I can take care of myself. You better watch it, ho. That was the bell, people. Brianna, in my office, please. Brianna? If I was harsh with you yesterday, I'm sorry. It's OK, ma'am. I understand. It's just that school and graduation parties are two separate things. Prom is not my business. Do you trust me, Brianna? Yes, ma'am. Then consider some advice from a friend. It would be better for everyone involved if the seniors had the traditional two proms. It's not just up to me. Well, it's not worth upsetting a whole town over something as trivial as a party. I have to think about it. You're an adult now. You have to put aside your personal wishes and think about what's best for your community. You know, part of what goes into being class valedictorian is having a record of good citizenship. that she wanted us to go back to the two proms, that, uh, that I should start thinking about what I wanted and do what's best for Mercier. So what are you going to do? Hey, everybody, oh, shut up. Listen up, girl. This That's you too, Reggie. Now listen up. Y'all read it in the paper and saw it on TV. People are trying to twist things around and make it seem like we're something that we're not. We've always had two proms here in Mercier. And when we voted to have one, we didn't plan I, I didn't plan on having any troubles with anybody. But now everybody is fighting, y'all. 
Mrs. Stevens said that I needed to do the right thing for my community. The right thing is to have a great prom. And to have a great prom, everybody has to be there. One prom for the whole class. I need my dues back. Kelly, but We're gonna have our prom like always. Just give me back my dues. Don't ruin it for the rest of us. Y'all okay. want your dues back, you gotta get it after school. Hey! Y'all think she got it in her pocket like a cash machine? She said after school, now back off. Thanks. Hi. I told you I owed you one. You want your dues back too? Keep them. Okay. That took guts in there. Did you see my knees were shaking? I got a quote for you. Okay. There can be no courage unless you're scared. Nice. You know who said that? No. Eddie Rickenbacker, World War I flyer. I got another one for you. Okay. I bet you don't know who said this. If your head is wax, <laughs> don't walk in the sun. If your head is made of wax. That, don't walk in the sun. <laughs> okay. Look, I'm, I'm gonna tell you who said it at least, but you gotta dance with me first, all right? If I have to, I have to. <laughs> then after that, maybe you can school me in chapter six. I'd school you. Man, you ain't gotta dance with me first. Don't you dance, Miss Einstein? Or maybe I can school you. Our visitors to the school need to be cleared through me. We're barring the media from school grounds. Come on, Mark. I saw a story and I wrote it. Really, I thought a reporter's job was to report the facts. The fact is that you people use the word tradition when the word you should be using is oppression. You people? I really need to talk to Brianna, okay? Does she want to talk to you? I have to write this story. It's good for my career. And honestly, it's, it's good for my soul. But I'd rather do it with you than without you. And if I say no, the paper's just gonna send someone else. Thank you for bringing me here. I must have looked at these a hundred times. You know, I, I never knew why there were two. There just were. I had to refund a bunch of prom dues at school today. And Kelly said I was ruining it for everybody. People say stupid things when they feel threatened. Mrs. Stevens told me not to talk to any reporters. I know that. But I want to talk to you, Desiree. I want you to tell the story. I just don't know how it's going to turn out. Prom and no prom. You have made your point. You do not have to take this to the finish line. Yes, I do. Daddy, this is a huge story. I can't just shine it on. Don't you have any thought for your mother? She works at that school. I'm not the only reporter covering this. You are the only reporter I see in my house. And in my house, I break the rules. You want to be a reporter? You go stay in that motel with the rest of them. Fine. I'll go get my things. Nobody is going anywhere. Now stop it, both of you. Mama, am I making problems for you at work? Nobody is giving me any trouble. They don't give you trouble. They give you pink slips. Can, can we just have a nice dinner? Now, I got your favorite shrimp dish. I got some egg there rolls. There are other some... people in this world besides you, Desiree. Now, you may not want to live here, but we do. Mercier is our home. Oh, yeah. And the niggas in Mercier don't want trouble. Now, wait a the minute. niggas in Mercier are good neighbors, and the niggas in Mercier say yes, no, no, no. Don't you use that kind of language around me. Daddy. Did you think that Sheriff Taylor is ever gonna bust that Dupree girl for reckless driving? She ran a stop sign, she fled the scene of an accident. He said he's looking into it. He's looking into it. Come on, Daddy. He knows he doesn't have to do a damn thing because you are a good nigga. Desiree! Now you apologize right now.
He is your father. Mrs. Howard, when are they going to announce the valedictorian? Shouldn't you be in class? Yes, ma'am. Brianna McAllister was checking the senior class bulletin. Wanted to know when you're going to announce class valedictorium. Did you want to say something, Edna? Yes. I think this whole thing stinks. Off the record, I agree. Maybe you should get on the record. I'm not sure what I'm going to do. <laughs> Thanks for your input, Edna. I don't think I'm going to be valedictorian. Why is that? Because I didn't listen to what Miss Stevens said about that prom. There's never been a black valedictorian at Mercier. If it wasn't prom, she would have found another excuse. Mm -hmm. This whole week has just been the worst week of my life. The prom is falling apart. I'm not going to be valedictorian. Half my friends are not even speaking well, to me. Well, forget them. I'm still speaking to you. That's only so I can help you in math. That's not true. It's kind of the other way around. I asked you to help me today so I could speak to you about something. This prom. You got a date? Did you eat something bad? Or are you just happy to see me? <laughs> Roger Williams asked me to the prom. Is Andrea there? Can I talk to her? Okay, uh, it's okay, I'll, I'll just see you at school. All right, goodbye. That was Andrea. She, she, mama, she's not coming to the prom. She didn't even want to talk to me. Too ashamed, I bet. Brianna. Oh, okay. Um, it's not your fault. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Tanya Franklin. She said she, she said her parents won't let her go to the prom unless it's all black kids. No, you know that's just silly. Give me the phone. I'll call Jolene. Don't. Hello, Rihanna. Oh. Sorry you won't be able to come. I'll return your prom dues. Yeah, that, that has been going around, hasn't it? Hello? Sure will miss you. No. No, it's okay. I understand. Brianna. Forget about your prom, bitch. Oh, my God. 
I'm sure you've all heard by now, someone broke into the school. Vandalism is a serious crime, and the state police have been called in to investigate. Now, I sincerely hope that none of you are responsible. I'm responsible. Brianna, please. Sit down. When I'm an old lady and I look at my prom pictures, I didn't want to see anybody's faces missing from them. I wasn't trying to change nothing. I was trying to keep it the same, to keep us together like we always have been. People told me that I was ruining prom for everybody, but I didn't listen. They were right. And I was wrong. I am responsible for what happened here, and I am sorry. I am truly sorry. You listen to me. You didn't throw those bricks, and this isn't your fault. Are there still kids who want to class prom? What about them? Huh? What happened to I'm no quitter? Uh-uh, I never said that. If you don't stand in front of a whole auditorium like Joan of Arc or something, then make a big speech, then crawl with it, die. Uh, Joni was burned at the stake, though. Whatever, just back me up. Well, we still got the uh, skylight house. Yeah, and no decorations. DJ Ray, I mean, the man is booked. That's true. Yeah, we could probably get our deposit back. Why don't we just get everybody kicking some money? Replace all the stuff that got damaged. Y'all. Do you realize how long it took to get the decorations and then to put it up? Uh-uh, y'all. It is too late. Forget it. Where am I supposed to wear my tux at, Lise? I guess Brianna! So. <laughs> Prom dues. Mine smothers. I don't care if my father locks me up for a year and takes away my phone, my CDs, and my TV. I want those pictures you talked about. Rihanna put you to work? Uh, yeah, she's, uh, transportation. Don't tell the union. Thank you. It's nice of you to help. I'm having fun. Are we okay? You tell me. Look, I'm sorry I gave you such a hard time. I was wrong. About everything. Everything? Give or take a comma. I want us to be friends. Just friends? We don't want to start something we can't finish. We don't? We don't. Is it the white thing? Because I could tan. No, Mark, it's not the white thing. Look, you live in Mercier, and I live in New Orleans. Two hours is the crow flies. It's not the distance. You really hate this town, don't you? No, no, I don't. Not anymore. When my brother died so young, somehow I got it into my head that the same thing was going to happen to me, and I, I had to get out, you know, and just see everything and do everything. And I don't know, looking back now, maybe I wasn't really running from Mercier. You know, maybe I was just running. I remember once a long time ago you said you couldn't breathe in this town, so you get away for a little while. I kept waiting for you to come back, but you didn't. I don't mind waiting, Des. This conversation's gone a little too far, too fast for me. Uh, can, can we can we back up to friends? Friends. Okay. Spin and shake. Oh, good lord, Mark! That is so nasty. We are not in high school anymore. Yeah, you keep reminding me.
are you doing out here? Uh, I was looking for Mama's sewing kit. Um, these are all the stories I ever wrote in high school and college. Yeah, well, Mama had them packed away in a box. Thought they'd keep better in a book. Easier to read. You did this? You know, I love both my kids. But I always knew you were something special. No, Daddy, Russell was the no, one who was no, special. No, 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 no. He's my son. But you, girl, you were something else. I always had that chin stuck way out as if you were saying life. Come on at me. I made things hard. You'd do all right. Wouldn't get taken out by the first punch. See, a man always wants to see his children do better than him. Be a better person than he was. I'm not a better person than you. I never could be. Yeah, yeah, all right, all right. Look, you can take that book if you want. It's all full up. I'll go make another one. Uh, I just got a call from Mercier High School. What now? Your class valedictorian. <gasps> Close your mouth before you swallow a fly. It's you, baby. I'm not <laughs> doing this. I can't believe it. I can't but believe you it. it. Oh, be careful. You're dressed. You're dressed. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Don't you dare. <laughs> I can't be in this too early. Okay, you put on your shoes and I'll get the door. Okay. okay? Come on in. Hey, Brianna. Stand up. Let me see you. Oh, you look beautiful. Thank you. So do you. Thank you. I came from my shoes. Um. They're right there. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> uh, did Eli go and make sure that the sound system is still working? Yes. And I forgot to order the ice. I mean, the ice is on its way. <laughs> you need to relax. Oh, can you tell I'm nervous? You look beautiful. No need to be nervous. My earrings. I, I don't know what my earrings are. Brianna, they're right here. Oh. <laughs> oh. Thank you. <laughs> I think you need to take a deep breath. Huh. better? No. I want to I want to give you something. This belonged to my grandmother. Oh my. Oh. Oh, it is beautiful. But I, I can't accept it. It needs to stay in your family. Oh, honey. You are my family. on the other side.
Wow. Not here yet. Everybody keeps asking me where they are. It's eight o'clock. What if they don't show? What are we gonna do? Don't worry. We built it. They'll come. What if they don't? Well, I'm a reporter and uh, we'll spin it. You'll make a statement. No, no, you'll you'll make a statement. And you'll say that you're disappointed, but that you deeply hope that future classes at Mercy High will have the opportunity to oh, celebrate their prom together this. without fear of retribution or Rats. <laughs> is that really them? I think it is. <gasps> I'm gonna let you read your book. <laughs> My daughter is in there. I want her out. Um, now wait, just listen. You get the hell out of my way. Bob, it's the senior class. I don't. Mark. It's fine. Help yourself be our guest. Just remember on your way out to smile for the cameras. I'm sure every newspaper's gonna want a nice picture of our local councilman dragging his daughter out of the first integrated prom in Mercier. You think you've won a great battle here? You haven't. <laughs> it's just one night. He's charming. <laughs> Do you like to dance? Just for old time's sake. No, Mark, but I will dance with you for new times. Be still my beating heart. Come on. Benjamin Franklin. What? He's the one who said, 
If your head is made of wax, don't walk in the sun. I got more for you. I can't wait. <laughs>